You're watching sports with Andrew Ward. Now it's freezing outside, so grab your cocoa and warm up to some high school hoops action here tonight. We start with Sean Taylor seeking career win number five hundo tonight. And this is a great matchup we got tonight between Iowa State and Nevada. And if you like great point guard play, well, you're in for a treat. Well, it all started today. The road to the state wrestling tournament in Illinois and Iowa kicked off with regional and sectional meets. And one of the biggest storylines for Wisconsin and really the Big Ten has been the emergence of the Rock Ridge grad Ethan Happ. The last time Iowa State played Oklahoma, the Cyclones won an absolute thriller in Norman in double overtime. Now, inside the Bradley Center here, it's a little bit quieter than it was last night as thousands of Cyclone fans cheered on and watched Iowa State move on to the round of 32. Of course, Iowa State is on the court as we speak in a closed practice from the media. And as you can see behind me, fans starting to file in here. Iowa, Iowa State, they're getting ramped up. It's been just three weeks since that long trip back from Penn State, but today Iowa capped off a three-game win streak to end the season with an absolute dominant performance against 16th ranked Nebraska. Tied at 70. Orange, could he do it again? Yes. Two straight game winners. All week we brought you all kinds of action from holiday basketball tournaments. Tonight, many of those tournaments came to a close. So buckle in for Championship Friday. We start in normal. The Rock Island girls battling Morton in the State Farm Classic title game. It's really no secret. This is an experienced Iowa State team, and this year's senior class might be the most decorated of all time. Platteview has been one of the best teams in Class B all season long, entering the state tournament undefeated. Waverly, they've already lost to them twice, but both games have been pretty close. Vikings get their third shot at the Trojans. This streamer is all that's left of what was an absolute party here at the Bob Devaney Sports Center as Nebraska puts a bow on its fourth national championship season in school history. Just two days ago, this sideline was an absolute party after Nebraska's win against undefeated Michigan State. At 12, Justice Edel getting scrappy, getting the turnover and getting it to Bree Beal. Here come the Maroons. Drew Wimmers with the little kiss off the glass. 